What's going on guys, this is Nozlet from GBFans.com. This is my personal Ghostbusters 1 Proton Pack that's currently for sale on eBay. Uh, this is just a video to show you some of the electronics. Right now it is running off the, uh, the wall power, which it comes with an uh, AC adapter that plugs into the back of the motherboard. Um, so it will run all day, all week, all year, as, so as long as you have it plugged in. There's uh, six C batteries installed, so if you want to unplug it and you want to take it around, uh, it will last for hours and hours. Uh, there's no rechargeable batteries installed in it, but you know if you choose to do so, that's a pretty, pretty easy thing for you to do, but I've never had the need to, to do something like that. So um, right now it's running off of a Crix, also known as um, Heavy Props uh, Proton Pack Light Kit. Uh, the Cyclotron and the power cell lights are individually controlled. They're separately controlled on two potentiometers that are on the board. So you can take the motherboard off, and take a screwdriver and, and change the speeds if you if you deem to do so. Um, I kept them at this speed because I feel like that's closest to what they are on the movie. However, uh, like I said, you can you can change it to uh, however you want. It's a it's a pretty flexible kit. This is the uh, the proton gun. This is the switch that controls the uh, the proton pack lights. So that was already on when we started the movie. Um, this switch right here will turn on the vent light which is an incandescent light bulb. This switch right here will control the gun lights so that will start the uh, scrolling bar graph and the red slow blow light, uh, flashing light on top by the vent, and the two hat lights. Um, also, if you push the intensify button, the uh, bar graph will start animating in a wigwag pattern and the, uh, the acrylic tip will start to flash. And uh, this is a Hyperdyne Labs uh, proton gun kit. Uh, I feel like it, it is a really great kit. Um, it's very, very well represents what the uh, what the uh, what the gun lights look like in the movie, and uh, I'm very I'm very pleased with it. So there's uh, one other thing that I that I wanted to show off to you guys that. Um, I was trying to explain in the auction, but it, I guess uh, it, this would probably tell you really what it is. This is a uh, spring-loaded acrylic tip here. That's uh, when you get it to a little past the uh, the frosting here, it will uh, it will click into place uh, with a guide rod with a hook, and there's aluminum block that's uh, inside the gun body that will uh, that this will lock in place. However, um, however, I um, I didn't hook up the the linkage for the um, for the lever I just didn't feel like it, it was worth uh, it was worth doing I was very happy with the way it was in this configuration and uh, so if that's something you choose to do uh, I'm sure you can go in there and and hook it up but I I feel like it wasn't necessary and this is this is a really good thing to have it spring loaded because in case you bring it out or you bump into somebody you don't risk the you don't risk um, breaking the acrylic or anything like that there is some give to it and uh, a lot of people what they do with these with these guns is they'll uh, they'll epoxy the uh, the acrylic in or they'll you know hot glue it or or whatever and uh, they won't be able to replace this or it'll get it'll get busted or something like that so um, you know I felt like this this is uh, it served me well so that's uh, that's basically it um, this pack was started in 2008. There's a lot of parts that you can't get anymore. And uh, if you want to know what's on it, just check the description. Uh, it'll tell you, tell you every single part that has been bought from it, who it's from, uh, who made it. I made a lot of the parts myself from aluminum, uh, especially the gun. But uh, this has been a real uh, journey for me, and I really hope it goes to a good home. Uh, it's a great conversation starter. It's um, it's been in my apartment for for many years, and uh, it's always a conversation starter. It's always a crowd pleaser, and uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you uh, want to check out any of my um, other projects that I have or any of my other work, uh, my name is Noslit on GB Fans, as I said. So it's N O S L L I T. You can go to my profile and check out uh, the other things that I've made, including uh, an all aluminum ghost trap. And uh, you can see some of the pictures of this of this pack when it was uh, in the early stages of it being built. Um, it's a solid pack. It's really, really good. It's not going to disappoint. 
and uh, there's no mystery involved in this, so you don't have to worry about your money going towards some uh, some white elephant. So uh, hope you guys enjoy, and um, good luck bidding, and uh, thank you. All right, take care.